Hello, and welcome to the next video installment in the introduction of the new Royal Princess. I'm Ray Kaluri, Executive Vice President of Fleet Operations of Princess Cruises. We hope you enjoyed our last video, which gave you a tour of Royal Princess's spectacular atrium. In this video, we're going to see what makes the dining experience so special on board the spectacular new Royal Princess. Joining me is Peter Tobler, Vice President of Food and Beverage Operations. The contemporary design of the Royal Princess dining rooms continues in the style and tradition that our passengers have come to love. As always, our dining rooms will offer a sense of intimacy, paired with fantastic lighting features to create an ambiance conducive to good conversation and quiet, attentive service. One of the features of the two forward dining rooms is a circular wine cellar in which passengers can enjoy a private dining experience around a special table with up to 12 seats. The aft dining room will feature another first at sea, the chef's table Lumiere. Once seated at this spectacular custom-made glass table, passengers will be magically surrounded by a curtain of light, providing a soft wall of privacy and the feeling that you're cocooned in a white cloud. Crown Grill is an enticing venue that combines the popular wheelhouse bar including its live piano entertainment, with a premium seafood and chop house. The club-like ambiance of Crown Grill, with its comfortable leather booth seating, wood accents and low-level lighting, all contribute to a unique must-do dining experience. At the Crown Grill, we only use Starling Silver Bee. It's an exceptional type of bee that goes through a 35-day aging process. Sapatini's is perhaps the most talked about restaurant in the Princess Cruises fleet. As we showed you in our first video, Sabatini's Italian Trattoria will enjoy a fantastic and convenient location on Deck 5 with a walkthrough from the adjacent Vines Wine Bar, which will also serve as the pre-dinner cocktail bar and lounge. The centerpiece of the new Sabatini's on Royal Princess will undoubtedly be the grand wine display, offering an impressive selection of Italian varietals, including Chianti, Sangiovese, and of course, Brunello di Montalcino. The Sabatini's dining experience features an a la carte menu promising authentic Italian flavors, but presented in a brand new way. The Horizon Court has doubled in size with 900 seats, plus an additional 350 seats outside on the open deck. The additional space combined with the creation of multiple food concepts will provide passengers with a much more intuitive environment in which to navigate, which we anticipate will all but eliminate lines. Horizon Court is our buffet dining experience. And on Royal Princess, we're going to redefine the Horizon Court concept. We're creating what we're calling Life Stations, which are areas dedicated to offering special dining options, like an Asian cuisine or a Mediterranean section with a special focus on Italy. The pastry shop is another industry first. Instead of having a couple of pastry counters or stations as part of the main buffet, this is a completely separate and dedicated space with its own unique design, decor, function, and seating area. Pastry chefs will fill the custom-built displays with an amazing variety of specialty treats which will be complemented by a full-range coffee bar. There'll also be action stations where pastry chefs demonstrate their skill in candy making, chocolate work, and cake decorating. If you haven't watched our previous video about the atrium on Royal Princess, Go to princess.com forward slash royal princess to receive all the latest news and updates on Royal Princess. <laughs>